Director of Quality Professional Development. This is Dr. Dick. And number two, what challenges do you face in teaching that this professional development may help you address? Y'all be thinking about that. These are the two questions you'll be answering at the end of the day. Are y'all ready to go? Woo -hoo. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we're going to start out today with this speech. And we're going to investigate where my clicker is. Uh, where will it plug is what we're looking at. So we've already gone over this with Dr. West. Okay, how will it float? I'm going to give you a handout. You know what? I'm not going to give you a handout. No, I'm going to divide them in half and you're going to take one day and you're going to into the cylinder, this is your cylinder jar, in what order should you place these liquids in the cylinder for them to remain in place? That's your research question that we're going to look at first. So I want you, your job, your task is to design and implement an investigation to answer this research question and you can use any or all of the supplies that are available to you, either supplies we've provided, or if you have something else that will help you figure it out, you're welcome to use anything available. So if you look at your handout, this is where we're starting. The materials, some of them are listed. Um, well, all of the, back here are the liquids for pickup. There's cups for you to obtain your liquids. Um, there's materials on your trays, and then, is that, is that everything we need, girls? Is that all the materials are out, right? So the jobs. Okay. The jobs, yes. Where are your job table, your job tents? <laughs> okay. <coughs> so in your groups of four, right off the bat, we need to de decide who is going to be the materials manager. So put yourselves in groups of four, designate a materials manager who is the go-to person to obtain your supplies. On the safety precautions, on your safety precautions, always wear chemical splash goggles when working with hazardous chemicals. The most hazardous <laughs> chemical you're going to work with today is rubbing alcohol. So don't drink it. Um, and we have two different types of rub, or two different percentages of rubbing alcohol, and you can use both of them. Here's 70% and 50%. And we suggest that you use some kind of dye food coloring in the 50% in order to distinguish it from the, the, the 70% because they are different. Okay, any questions? Water from the sink. Water from the sink. Anything else? Okay. Um, so before you start going and getting, you need to design your experiment. So come up with a plan. The instructions are on the page and we are going to plan about one hour. For you to do this. It is, it's 849, so let's say it's 850 to design and implement. And your next job after you design, you implement, you create your, your cylinder with all the products in it. You're going to, on the second page, you 
going to develop your initial argument. And we're going to have paper for you to, to do this so that you can create a, a poster similar to this one that is listed here on page two. The instructions are there. If you have questions, we can help. Okay? Are there any preliminary questions? Okay, your table tips are coming with your, your roles, but in the meantime, you know who your materials manager is, so you're good there. So design your, your experiment and your investigation, and then implement it. Good? Let's go. So we have to figure out how we're going to pour them. Pretty much like I already know the order. So we're going to find the We just can't pour them and let them do their thing. I know. It's primary. So I'm sure you need to do it. 